Hey everybody, and welcome back to Super Hostile Legendary. And in today's episode, we're going to continue exploring the floating shards here. We started this in the previous episode, and we kind of got up to the top there. We had to stop because we ran out of time. We found some random loot chests, and we've spied some ruins from a distance. My objective today is to try and locate more of these ruins and explore some of them if we can. Uh, topped up on supplies, drop things off. I'll come back for that. So this is the last place we got to, was up here. And I wanted to go straight across for that there. But before we do that, I'm just going to continue down this way and see where this brings us out at. Continuing what I did in the previous episode. Just exploring, filling in areas. I'm going to need to make a few more torches, but that's not going to be a problem. Got plenty of coal and I can pick up more if I need it. I suppose I could get rid of this. And we've got a stone pickaxe available to us. Yeah, there's some coal that I could grab really easily from here. There we go. We're continuing our loose lighting policy around here. Hope I'm not using up all my sandstone. Oh, hello. That guy just spawned. There are spawners in there. I see them. Skeleton. Oops, that's my bow. So we've got little skeleton fun boxes here that we really need to be mindful of. That's what we saw up top last episode. So I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for those. Now that I know what they look like, I've seen another one from a distance which was down in this direction. So I'm definitely going to keep my eyes peeled for those. Looks like that's going to be our main threat here, is skeletons. Anything in here? Leather, stone swords. Pretty good. Armor will be doing okay, so we don't need to worry about that at the moment. Keep exploring along this little balcony. I don't know if this actually ends up going anywhere or just sort of dead ended in the wall. Looks like there's definitely going to be another one of those skeleton boxes. Oops. Up here. So I'm have to be mindful of that. There is a creeper there. I do not even want to deal with a creeper, so I'm not even going to mess with him. That skeleton went down. I don't know if he can get back up or not. There's another creeper there that I'm going to take out. That spider's not going to be a threat. He's got to cross void to get to me, so... I'm going to take care of you now. While I have the opportunity. Oh gosh, some lag there. Oh, let's stay away from the edge at all costs. Because that is not safe. There's a chest there. Dang, how am I going to get to that? I guess I could go around to that. I 
Is this my last pickaxe? It is, so I have to go and make some more. I have wood though. No stone though. <laughs> you, I'm gonna shoot. Because I've got arrows and they're renewable. Ooh, hello. Okay. I saw stuff in there, including a diamond chest plate, but I just want to secure my surroundings a little bit first. Namely, getting rid of you. Alright, we've got our back to a wall here, so we're pretty safe. We're not totally safe. Man, we secured a diamond chest plate. That's really, really good. So, I think that was pretty much the end of the road with that, right? Yeah, there's nothing there that we can continue to explore. So what we can do now is we can head back. And probably what I'll do is set up a way station of some sort. I'm going to mine a bit of stone, make a few more pickaxes from that area. And then what we can do from there is check out those mossy ruins I guess next so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll be back okay so I set up a little way station I mined some more stone so I've got three pickaxes again got more stone in there if we need it and I also upgraded to the iron sword seeing as we're gonna be coming into a dungeon themed area I figured having the extra damage would be beneficial for us and durability too so as I did before I'm gonna build outwards first there we go and then I will add the railings and we've still got tons of sandstone left to do this, so not going to have a problem there. Sun looks to be set in, so we're going to have to keep that in mind. I do not have any wool, and I do not have enough string to make a bed. I could probably get enough by mining some of these cobwebs, though. I'm thinking now that we're up here, it's going to be a long ways back. to get to a bed. So, how many string did I have? Two? First four. Still gonna be careful though. That's like an entrance that I'm gonna seal up. Eight. That's nine. Just throw some quick torches on this. Eleven. Okay, I hear mobs in there, but that's okay. As long as they're in there, I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay, good to know. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get back here. I have so much wood and saplings, so I don't mind making a bed up here and making like this into a little base platform. So we have enough string now to whip up three pieces of wool, turn it into a bed. and sleep. That's That there is going to save us like five minutes getting back to to our base. Because that's kind of an annoying thing now. We're so far away here to get all the way back down there again and we don't really have any ender pearls. I wouldn't even trust myself in this area with them to be honest even if I did have them. So did sound like there was spawners in there, so we're going to be doing this from the top down, as always. It's a lot easier to come in at an area from the roof than it is to, say, come a, di a different way, like through the main entrance, for example. There we go. So 
So what do we got down in here? Let's put some light in this equation. There's some glass there. Looks like there's a skeleton near the entrance. Hello. Out. everything safe here? Looks like it. Ooh. Speaking of ender pearls, lots more stuff though to collect. This is good. I'm gonna make uh, a whole bunch of torches here. Staff and a half. Is there anything else useful in there to us? Not really. Zombies are a burning. So the sun is doing its bit to help us. Oop, end of that pick. Right, let's deal with this area. One... Direction at a time. Take that out. There's a chest in that one. Some right ingot there. White wool, yes. So we've got another piece of wool for the monument. Let's take care of these guys. So this must have been the wool dungeon then. Is that it? That was it, huh? Okay. So white wool dungeon. Uh, I'll take this stuff while I'm in here. Save on time. Coming back for it later. So I'm going to run this back now to my temporary base. And where do we need to go next then from here now that we've explored that? Is there anything more to this? Or is this just kind of like decorative stuff? Just looks decorative. I guess the next thing we're going to need to do is kind of go over there. And then down, I'm assuming. Unless there is another way to it. Like, does it connect up to anything further down? Doesn't look like it. Can we spawn what those cobwebs are? Or are they just cobwebs? Because <laughs> I don't want to go over there if they're just cobwebs. There's not really a whole lot of reason to doing that. It doesn't look like it connects up to anything else. And it kind of looks very vertical, so it may go to the top and then down in order to deal with that area. That seems like it would be the most sensible thing to do. Really glad though that we got that wall. So we've we've got an objective in today's episode. Yeah, we still have to check that out too. Oh, there's actually ruins below us that I haven't even seen. We might check that out next. Iron ingot. I'll keep the white wall safe in there. Yeah, we have ruins right below us. I'm gonna check that out for sure. See what that's all about. How close are we? Not very close, it seems. It did seem like it was like all the way at the bottom, though, so... Hopefully it's got some good loot for us. Oh, and look, we finally hit level 50. How about that? More stone. I'll take that. 
Aha, uh -huh, it's right here. So what is this? Random Marcy Pillar? What do you lead to? Is there just a random mossy pillar here? Is that it, really? There's nothing else to this. Fill that in. I mean, there's ruins further down. So, I mean, I, I kind of see that, but... Bye bye. Yeah, I guess that was it. It was just a ma random mossy pillar, I guess. Um, oh well, I suppose. Um, how did I even get to here? Now, there's a question. So I guess we, as a constellation prize, we got more stone. Which, you know, is good. We've been needing that. I was just hoping for something a little bit more to that. So that's worthwhile noting then that not all the mossy cobble indicates actual ruins. It could just be used to mark off stone and things like that from different angles. Um, so I guess then the next place to go is definitely going to be over there for sure. And then we will also have to go down and investigate what that is. Man, there's still so much to this area. Although I do think that we're nearing the end of our episode now because I know that we're going to have to go back and do the monument as well. So I'm thinking that we may save the exploration of that for next episode. I'm thinking maybe next episode we could try and explore this. Oh, here a zombie. I'm going to get away from that edge. So yeah, maybe next episode we'll try and explore that. Get down there onto that lower level. Man, there's a lot to investigate here. Lots to investigate, but still, I'm having a fun time. It's pretty cool. I guess I'll transport some stuff back that I want. Namely, the diamond chest plate, the leather cap building blocks I guess. Uh, obviously want the wool, can't forget about that. The iron ingot. The rest of this stuff I'll just leave here for now. Although I suppose I could fill up my inventory and that would save time later, right? So I'll just bring everything that I know that I'm not going to want. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to head all the way back now to the Victory Monument and that is quite the trip. So, you guys have seen it all before. I'm just going to walk out of the East Commons, or of the Floating Shards, should I say. Uh, just so that you guys have seen that I've done that bit safely, but I'm not going to include the rail line on camera. It'll be a little bit risky to do that. Um, there's no real reason for me to show off the rail line journey. Because it's just long and it's boring. So... Take that. So I'm going to continue on my journey out of here. Uh, you could possibly get to some stuff down that way. So I'll keep an eye on that. And it's becoming night time as well, so this is even better. I guess I could also show you guys a little bit of work I did off camera on the little railway. So we'll do that too. And I'm not sprinting, by the way, to conserve on food. I'm trying to, you know, because I'm not in an area where I'm actively growing food, to make it last as long as possible. And if I run around everywhere, then we're going to have no food left. So stuff that I could drop off in here, rotten flesh, nether wall. 
Mossy cobble, various tools, bricks, bone. Gonna need to come back with more coal. Need a minecart. So yeah, we're gonna need to come back with more coal to make more torches with. Good to know. So, let me get my minecart in hand. And I'm glad I'm getting all these stone bricks too, because I wanted to build a furnace room using them. So having access to them in decent supply is going to be important. And I don't want to have to resort to smelting cobblestone that we already don't have a lot of for tools in order to do that. So yeah, I added this little button here. Oops. Doesn't, doesn't power what we want though. I thought it would. That's strange. Doesn't power it from there either. How odd. Okay, well, that's fine. We could just do it there then, I guess. Ugh. You know what? No, do not go down there. Here I was hoping that that was going to be all fancy, but nope. Guess not. I'm going to need to do some more work on that. But I did finish this area, kind of seal it all in, and get rid of this, etc. So, yeah. I'll meet to up with you guys at the Victory Monument. And so we're back. I've got my wool. I'll drop off all the stuff that I have access off camera. Just want to head down to the Victory Monument now. This is our third piece of wool in Legendary. So what we really need to do now in the floating shards is just kind of finish up exploring everything. And then we'll be moving on to Intercession 2. I want to spend another episode or two just kind of clearing things up. I'm thinking though, if we haven't done the area completely by the end of next episode, then I will kind of just, you know, montage through the remaining bits. And if there was anything interesting, then I will let you guys know. Because otherwise then four episodes on one place is is a lot. So anyway, without further ado, on a three, two, one. Beautiful. So we have three pieces of wall now, the first three, intersection one. As far as wall goes, it's complete. We will be moving on to intersection two fairly soon. I just want to finish off the floating shards and explore the remaining ruins, pick up the remaining loot, etc, etc, which we will try and do next episode, and then we will move on to the next three, which I assume is intersection two. Although we didn't find one, did we, in the Caves of Confusion, so I guess there's only two in intersection two. Painwater and I think Castle, uh, some, some other castle. Uh, that we have to explore and then it will be on to intersection 3 which is just through there so I hope you guys are enjoying I know I am I'm having a ton of fun here glad to be back in legendary and I hope to see you in the next episode so until then see you later and have a good day